guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie Nicole H. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss a thing on my channel. On my channel, I focus on a lot of different things from recipes to DIYs to wig reviews, clothing hauls, all that good stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you one of my favorite things to make during the fall season, which is my chili recipe, and it does not disappoint. This is actually a collaboration video with one of my bestest friends, Victoria, and her channel is Life With Vic. On her channel, she does recipes, mainly focuses on vlogs, and she recently moved to South Florida, so as you can imagine, there's lots to do and see on her channel. And she's gonna be whipping up her chili recipe, and I have tasted it, and it is, so make sure you check that out as well as the other content on her channel. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this recipe. Girls, pull up, I'm outside, waiting by the curb. Too upset to drive it, getting on my nerves. We gon' get lit on this ride. I look too good to fight. Don't expect me to come home tonight. All right guys, so here's everything you need to make my five alarm chili. So first off, a crock pot. Also two packages of hot chili seasoning, a can of brown ale beer, as well as a can of tomato paste, a medium onion, jalapeno peppers, red pepper flakes, also three cans of diced tomatoes with green chili, red beans, kidney beans, and cannellini beans, a pound of stew meat, and a pound of ground turkey. First, I'm going to rinse my beans. So I opened up all my cans of beans, pouring them all in this strainer, and then rinsing those off with warm water. And just look at the variety of color of beans. I love this recipe because of the colors, as well as how hearty this meal is going to be. Now I'm going to dice up my onion. The recipe calls for a medium onion, but this one was pretty big, so I did only use part of it. And please don't get on me too bad about how I'm cutting this onion. I am no chef, I have no chef skills, so I'm only cutting it the only way I know how. And I'm making sure to dice this up in very, very small pieces. Make sure to watch your fingers and don't cut yourself. And here are my onions all diced up. I'm gonna push those to the side so I can go ahead and dice up my jalapenos. So with cutting up my jalapenos, I'm gonna cut off the top first and then split them down the middle, cutting the inside out and removing the seeds. And this is already a five alarm chili, but if you wanna up the ante, you can always leave those seeds inside. That's what packs the punch of the heat in the jalapeno. I'm only dicing up two of the jalapenos, so same process with the second one, cutting off the top, slicing it down the middle, and then cutting out the inside and removing those seeds. Once I have everything removed from the inside of the jalapenos, I'm gonna cut them in slices and then dice those up. And again, make sure you watch your fingers so you don't cut yourself. Now that my jalapenos are all diced up, I'm going to set these to the side and go ahead and start loading up my crock pot. In my crock pot, I'm going to pour in all three cans of my tomatoes with green chilies. I did not drain my tomatoes, so pour in the tomatoes as well as the juice. Now I'm going to add my colorful variety of beans and my diced jalapenos. 
and I'm only adding about two thirds of the diced onions. I'll preserve the rest for another recipe. Now I'm going to add both packages of hot chili seasoning. And not to forget my tomato paste. And now my brown ale. This is the make it or break it ingredient for this chili. And now I'm gonna mix this all up and get ready to add my meat. And just look at those colors. So all three types of beans and then the jalapenos. It's just so colorful and so beautiful. And yet it's gonna be so scrumptious. In a skillet over medium heat, I'm going to add my ground turkey. Normally, I would add about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. However, I did forget this time. So I'm gonna use my spoon, break the meat up while this simmers. As you can see, the meat is starting to brown. So continue to stir the meat, break it up with your spoon until everything is brown. And this is what your meat should look like. And you see that liquid down at the bottom, just drain that out. So back to my crock pot, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of red pepper flakes. Also my stew meat, I did cut this up into little bite-sized pieces. And now I'm gonna add my ground turkey. And then give this a quick little stir. So you count it correctly, three different types of beans and two types of meat. I love my chili to be super flavorful, chunky, and pack a punch, and that's exactly what I'm gonna get with this recipe. And now that everything's well combined, I'm gonna go ahead and place the top on my crock pot. And now it's time to set the timer. So I'm gonna place this on high heat for five hours. Make sure to check on your chili periodically and give it a nice stir just to make sure nothing is burning or getting stuck to the sides of the crock pot. So this is what my chili looks like after about three and a half hours. And now the big unveil. Ah, here is my chili after it's been sitting in the crock pot for five hours. It's chunky and looks so delicious. So as you can see, it has those bits of stew meat and ground turkey and those colorful variety of beans. I cannot wait to taste this. I like to add shredded cheese as well as macaroni noodles to my chili. And pairing it with cornbread muffins really completes the meal. I really hope you all enjoyed my five alarm chili recipe. Try it out and tell me what you think. And don't forget to head over to Victoria's channel, Life with Vic, to check out her chili recipe as well. Leave me some comments down below. Tell me what you like to add to your chili or what you like to eat your chili with. Extra onions, scallions with spaghetti noodles like chili mac on a hot dog or with french fries? Let me know. I make this recipe a couple of times during the fall and it's definitely a fan favorite in my house. If you're looking for a hearty meal to warm you up and just throw in the crock pot and go about your day and it's ready at the end of your work shift, this is definitely the perfect recipe for you. It's so good, it's a little spicy. Don't be afraid of the spice, it's just enough to leave you wanting more. But that's the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you all next time.